I'm Helen Cavill, I'm Lead Manufacturing Engineer for Liquid Handling at SPT LabTech. For my job what I love is there isn't really a typical day, it can be so varied. So I can be starting the day trying to go through some spreadsheets, understanding the billing materials for all the parts we need to build an exciting new instrument. And then I get a call from the build line that they found an anomaly where a new instrument's behaving strangely and I have to help them investigate. Then I might be talking to suppliers across the world, trying to get to the bottom of what might be going on and then doing data analysis or designing experiments. And yeah, it's such a varied job. I absolutely love it. I remember at school when I said I wanted to be an engineer, I was like 15 and I was stood outside the building with some friends and they honestly said, oh, Helen, you're really clever. Why do you want to be a car mechanic? And the people just don't really understand the full breadth of what's involved in engineering. So and through my career, being female as an engineer, I've always been in the minority, so I think currently we're at about 16% of the engineering workforce are women, which it's always been quite low, but I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing. I, I, get on, I get on well with men and women anyway, but there are certain aspects to being a female engineer where I kind of find I bring a different, a different angle to the job than other people. So one thing is like my emotional intelligence. So when I go down to the build line and they're struggling with a problem, I'm quite good at putting myself in the mindset of the technicians and, and realizing that they're stressed, they're worried about not getting the machine out. You know, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them and it's, it's trying to calm the situation and bringing that emotional side to it as well as the technical ability. And that's something that I find from my experience, female engineers tend to be a little bit better at. I've been engineering for nearly 20 years now and there's so many things that I'm really proud of. Um, more recently at SPT Lab Tech, I've been working on instruments that have been used in COVID testing all across the world, some really demanding timelines and it's been great to have that impact. I'd really advise trying to get work experience. So I did my normal work experience at school, but then when I was sort of 17, 18 in the summers, I did extra work experience where I got to spend a bit more time in some different companies and just learn about what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy. And in engineering, maths and physics are a great grounding, but also thinking outside the box and, and doing other things that you enjoy. Like I did AS level art just because I enjoy painting and it's good to keep your other hobbies and interests going and be a rounded person and not, and not close yourself down and panic too much. Like I started my career wanting to be a mechanical engineer and now I'm a manufacturing engineer and you've got so many options. You can keep hopping. You know, I worked in a factory making at one point I was doing um, an iron foundry, making iron castings, which is like an indoor volcano. And then I was making MRI scanner electromagnets. Then I was making plastic bottles. And now I make really cool liquid handling robots. So, and that's all with the same background. So you can have such variation in an engineering career that don't be scared, just dive in, go for it, and you won't regret it.